What a lovely evening to be the mayor. Hey yo people, I'm Whiteblade Zero, and if you don't know me, well I don't blame you. So yes, this is Animal Crossing New Leaf really, it's not going to be my next Let's Play, just so you know. What this video is for, is because I want to show you, to, to those veterans, and to those new to this game, on how you can get a lot of bells, which is the currency in this game. Basically, first thing you need to do is unlock the, uh, the tropical island. How to do that will be in the description below. Anyway, once you've got that set, talk to old Cap in here. Make sure you have at least a thousand bells with you. And he'll take you right to the island. So, I'll meet you guys there, because this is pretty much the best way on how you can get some bells. Oh, and make sure you do this during the night. Like, after 7 p.m. at night. That's your best chance. Alright, I'll see you there. Yeah, control PU. And welcome to the island part of Tortimer Island. Now real quick, I want to show you how I set this up. Uh, normally there'd be a lot of trees and bushes right here in the grassy center. But, if you go all the way over here and talk to Lloyd here, he'll give you some items to rent. These items include a shovel, a wetsuit, axe, fishing rod, bug net, and I think that's it. Yep, that's all there is. Uh, sorry, I can't show you the bottom screen, but you'll just have to deal with it. Basically, what I would do is collect the fruit from the trees in the center, dig out your axe, cut down the trees, use the shovel and dig up the tr the... Come on, I can talk. The, uh... The tree stumps. <laughs> Bleh. And also the bushes to get rid of any... to make sure no other bugs will spawn. That is a key point. Also, if there are any um, palm trees around, around in your island, Make sure you plant plenty of those beforehand. If you don't, just go into the um, the island mini games and such. Go to the beaches, find some tropical fruit, and plant them around the gr the sandy part of the island. Trust me, you'll need that. Once you've got all that and the trees are fully grown, all you really need is the rental rod and the rental net. That's pretty much the fishing rod and fishing net. That's all you'll need for this trick. Now what I like to focus on is holding only the net, for right now. Run right through the center, like so. That'll scare away any extra smaller bugs that'll unfortunately keep appearing. These are the wharf roach and the occasional hermit crab. Hermit crabs, they may appear as seashells, we may see some earlier, and there's a wharf roach. Scare them away. If you see any extra bugs, you need to scare them away. Because to get these other bugs that I'm going to show, like that for example, a beetle, you want to make sure there are no other bugs, because apparently on screen only up to five bugs can appear at once. So what you want to do when you see a beetle is hold down the A button to get in position, carefully move the thumb, the um, thumbstick, whatever it's called, the circle pad, that's what it is, and once you're about here, let loose. And you got a beetle. These beetles that appear on the, um, only on the palm trees, they are worth a lot more than they would be on the um, normal trees here in the grasslands. You want to focus on the beetles on the palm trees. There are a lot of really good bugs to find in Get out of here, Wharf Roach. No one likes you. But make sure you don't have any palm trees here in the, here in the center part of the, of the beach. That's a pretty, uh, unlikely situation. You want this part to be empty. There's another beetle. Now there are some beetles that can be caught very easily by just sneaking up and moving the circle pad full force. But there are other beetles that are worth a lot more, but you'll need to move very lightly instead. And what do you know? Speak of the devil, there's one of them. That is the golden stag. That is one of the two most priciest bugs you can get in the game. These babies sell for quite a lot of bells. This is where you really want to practice moving the, th the circle pad very lightly. If you go full force, you'll scare away the bug and lose a lot of bells. Go carefully and now! There you go. One golden stag. 
Now, whilst you're looking around, watch out for any fish in the sea. Any of them at this size, chances are it may be a sea bass, which are worth, like, pff, nothing. But there's a chance it'll be something else. Something more worthwhile. <laughs> and there it is, the blue marlin. That fish is definitely worth a lot of bells too. You want to catch that. It's pretty rare compared to the sea bass, but if you see anything down at its sea bass size, check it. You may get the blue marlin. And I agree, it is a true darling. The other reason for the fishing rod is so you can catch some, catch some sharks. Sharks are worth a lot of bells as well. Once you're done fishing, get back out to the net. Carefully look around here. Okay, there's nothing there. Run right through the center, scare away any small fries, then move on to the other side. This is pretty much the same process you have to do until you get all the bug, until you get enough bugs to fill your inventory. Rinse and repeat, and you should be full of a lot of good bugs and or fish and sharks. And I'm guessing sea bass. Yep, don't have to pick up the phone because I called it. Okay, there is one more bug I should mention that's actually worth just as much as the golden stag. That is the horned Hercules. It kind of looks like the elephant beetle we caught before, but, well, if I see it here, I'll show it to you. Because so right now I'm just going to cut ahead and, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you see that blue, that blue shell over there? That is where the um, hermit crab is. Scare it to plop it open and lure it to lure it to the sea. Because unfortunately, those guys count as bugs. You want to get rid of them. It's never a bad, bad idea to check the other side you've just been to, just in case. Because there is a chance that there may be a bug there that wasn't there the first run around. You probably get what I'm saying. No sign of any sharks yet. But they are around. Now, you might find some blue shells around, but... Oh, yeah. I've got bad luck today. That's not going to be good for business. So, anyway. if There will always be some shells lying around the beach, even if you try to get rid of them or move them to the center of the island. There'll always be more around the beach, so... Don't bother trying to pick them all up and, you know, get rid of them. There'll always be more. They never stop coming. Pretty morbid, isn't it? Alright, you get out of here. Go on, shoot, shoot. Alright, like I was saying, I'll cut ahead until I find a find a shark or you know, the horn Hercules. Well, so much for a cut, like maybe ten seconds later, there's a shark. Sharks are worth a lot more money than the beetles, but they're a lot harder to find. Come on, come on. Nope, he didn't see it. Sometimes these guys are a little bit tricky to catch, especially during the night. Oh, not close enough. Okay, yeah, sometimes that happens. If it happens and it doesn't, it doesn't go for it again, just um, recast. Although there is one fish that may have a tail fin on top, or whatever fin that is. That's actually not a shark and not worth your time. I think that's called an ocean sunfish. If you catch that and you don't have it in your and you already have it in your museum, then just toss it back. Get over here. That's better. That's more like it. And just my luck, it's the ocean sunfish. Well, now you know what to watch out for. Those guys aren't worth a lot, so if you, like I said, you catch one, you get rid of it. Oh, a big, nice splash, though. So yeah, if you find a shark fin in the water, go ahead and go for it. If not, well, yeah. If it's not the size of a sea bass, don't go for it. Now, I know this is pretty slow, but... If you want an easy time of catching these guys, you want to be slow. Don't try to rush it. 
Otherwise, you will scare off the bugs. Want to know the difference? This is the normal speed when you're holding down A. What I'm doing is like, like half that speed. Oh, here's another one. This beetle, the Goliath beetle, it's actually the one that got away. <clears throat> it's actually the cheapest of the of the um, of the beetles you can find on the on the palm trees, worth only six thousand bells, which really is still quite a hefty mount, or a mount, I should say. But some may argue it's worth skipping. I say it's worth a chance. So, in any rate, if you're only holding the um, the net and the fishing rod, you only you only have like, and you're only um, actually holding one of the two items, you'll have 15 available slots in your pockets. That was not meant to be caught. That'll actually add up to 15 empty slots. And well, once I get a full inventory, I'll show you what you can do with it all. But until then. I'll be right back. Now you like that. I'm trying to scare away those little bugs. I scared away another golden stag. <sighs> FML. Alright. Once you've got a full inventory of bugs, and or sharks and fish, what you need to do is go to the drop-off box and drag them all into, the, into their little slots. Unfortunately, you can only see it on the bottom screen, which, again, sorry for not being able to show off. But, yes, that's all you need to do. Um, since, you, since you're only holding one extra item in your inventory that you cannot, you know, take back home with you. Because why would you want to take home a rental net? Or rod? You can only fit up to 40 um, items per trip. So... That means um, with each with each round you go and hunting bugs and such, you're pretty much guaranteed to fill up one and one and a half pages. So if you do this all right, you'll get this job done in like two or three trips or two or three runs on one trip. All right, I'm gonna cut this out real quick so I can go hunt for some other stuff really fast, and I'll see you guys back home. Actually, no, check that. Right after I stopped my recording equipment real quick, there it is, the Horned Hercules. That's the other bug that is worth just as much as the Golden Stag. Again, like with the Golden Stag, just move very slowly, barely moving the circle pad. And there you are, one Horned Hercules. Okay, now I'm gonna cut. Home sweet twin leaf. Alright, so the next thing you need to do is if you have anything in your pockets, empty them. This way you'll be able to carry as much as you can over to, over to retail. Oh, and make sure you use a touch screen. That makes things a lot easier. Sorry if my stylus appears on camera, but it really is the quickest way to get things done. I got really lucky with um, all the go all the um, golden stags I found out there, plus the horn Hercules I showed earlier, and I actually managed to catch a few sharks too, like two. And with an empty inventory, you can only hold up to 16 of everything you caught, so just move on all up to retail and start selling away, if retail is open. You can do this after they close, or rather just do the whole process, but you can't sell them until the next day, so make sure you watch out for that. Oh, and before I start, make sure you keep a close eye on my bell count. Once I, get, once I come back, we'll see the total and we'll do the calculations from there. Yeah. As you can see, we got a lot of bells just from all of that alone. Over 400,000 bells. That's insane, isn't it? And that's just a coup de grace. If, if retail can still be open for a couple hours, like I, like I am right now, you can go back to the tropical island and do it all over again. 
So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it, found it helpful. Um, if so, then go ahead and leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you wish. And, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next time when, whenever I choose my next Let's Play. Whenever that'll be. So until the next time, everybody, I'm gone. So close to that next badge.